What's up, Dub Nation? What's going on? It's your boy, A-Dub. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. Also, hit the thumbs up button. I haven't been telling y'all to hit the thumbs up button when you watch these videos, but please hit the thumbs button. It only takes a half of a millisecond. And I greatly appreciate it. Help the channel out a lot. So guys, today I want to talk to you about something very, very important. You've been watching the videos. We've been stepping our professionalism up when it comes to our t-shirt making game in intervals, right? We've been getting better and better. And now I'm gonna show you how to step it up another notch. So I'm gonna show you how to add custom tags to your shirts. Not the custom sew on tags that I showed you guys before in previous videos, but actually custom tags, neck tags, all right? And it's not actually gonna be a tag. I'm gonna show you. Let's get into it. Adub Productions. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click my link down in the comments section down below, actually down in the description, and you're gonna to wanna to buy some of this. This is um, Jet Pro Soft Stretch Inkjet Transfer Paper. Inkjet Transfer Paper, okay? And you're going to want to buy some of this because this is the material, this is the paper that we're gonna to use to print onto, use our inkjet printer to print onto to make our labels, all right? So um, you're gonna to wanna to go on to Microsoft Paint, whatever you're using. In my case, um, Adobe Photoshop, you can do this in Illustrator, and you're gonna to wanna to measure out and make your tags. You can take a ruler and you can measure out the amount of space you want it to be on the neck tag and you customize that image in your Photoshop, your Illustrator or your Microsoft Paint, whatever you're using. And you go ahead and create your image and you duplicate it on the size of the paper. You duplicate it and make it the size of the whole paper, which is in most cases eight and a half by 11 which is standard size of paper, and this is exactly what this is, eight and a half by 11, all right? So after you duplicate it and make them the, um, cover up the whole, uh, the whole paper, then you go ahead and print it out. But before you print it out, you gotta reverse the image. So some of your programs might not be able to do that. I know Photoshop can. I'm not sure if Microsoft Paint can, but I know you can create um, art in Microsoft Paint. I'm not sure if they can reverse the image though, but you need to reverse the image before you send it to the printer, okay? So you make sure you send it to the printer reversed. And once it's printed out in your inkjet printer, not laser printer, inkjet printer, then you're gonna have something that looks like this, all right? You're gonna have these sheets right here that have all your labels on them, guys. Let me show you all your labels on the sheet like this. There your labels are right here. All right. So now, this is primarily the reason, this is like the main thing that I use my, um, my hat press for when I, you know, back when I was doing my shirts before. This is the main purpose, the main thing that I use my hat press for. Okay, so you heat up your hat press, all right? After it's heated up, you can lay the neckline of this shirt or any of your shirts perfectly across the heat, the heat, the hat press. Of course, um, most of these shirts make tear away, tear away tags, so you can just tear the tag away. And then you lay down the material, the neckline, perfectly centered on the hat press. Then you cut out one of these labels that you made and you lay it down. Lay it down on the, um, lay it down with the ink facing down, make sure it's the right way and stuff like that. With the printed portion laying down, facing the, the garment. Lay it down perfectly in the center and then you press it. Press this for about 30 seconds or so. Um, it tells you on the instructions of the paper that you got exactly what temperature your heat press needs to be on. If you wanna know how to program your heat press, and if you have a heat press like mine, then you can watch my tutorial video on how to program your heat press. 
All right, so you lay it down on the neckline, press it for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you lift it up and peel back the paper and voila. Look what we got here, guys. Look at this. Professional looking, clean, clean, custom tag for your shirt. Now we're one step closer to getting our merchandise to the quality that you see in stores, all right? Custom tags, guys, custom tags. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to share the video with your shirt making friends. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, guys. Um, don't forget to visit alanaway.com to help support the channel, um, to uh, help me out a lot. It'll help me out a lot if you bought some channel merch, guys. I greatly appreciate it as the channel grows. I, I thank all of my new subscribers for watching and tuning in. We had a great weekend this weekend, had a bunch of fun. If you missed those videos, check, go back and check those videos out. Very entertaining. I had a blast and I'm quite sure you guys would have a blast checking out what I did this past weekend, guys. So, once again, it's your boy King Alan Alexander on all social medias. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Really appreciate you. Talk to you guys in the comment section down below if you have any questions, guys. All links to everything that I talked about are in the description of this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Alan Wade. I'm out. Peace. Turn up that crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby? Like,